Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. My Joy-Cons were lagging and I was just so excited to get started. So ignore the messy intro, but here we are. This is another, this is more for me than it is for you. I said this in my video where I did Kit and I did Sherry and Antonio and my Walker video. This is for me guys. This is serving my nostalgia and giving me something to just feel so sentimental over and happy and that is because today we are doing a home for Hugh. I'm already dressed because I was not planning to film a happy home video today. This has happened a few times. I was just here to check out the items and then of course I found two of my favorite former residents, one of which being Hugh, who I let move out just before was announced that 2.0 was happening and Happy Home was happening, and I have regretted letting him go before this game came out because I really wanted to make him a home here so at least I could visit him here and still have a good time. So that's what we're doing today. I ran into him not planning on doing a house today and I knew I had to do it. He was my first ever lazy villager, one of the first villagers ever on my island, so therefore one of the first ever villagers I met in general because this is my first Animal Crossing game and I love him. I love him. He was one of my favorite boys ever. For some reason, it didn't take me long to pick a home for him. I really liked this one, which is a little bit beach, a little bit, a little bit of Lexus. No, I'm kidding. Um, a little bit of grass too. And also on the beach too, you saw me react to Dottie, who was my first ever peppy villager. So I don't know, the game is just sending all of these first original 10 villagers that I was super attached to my way and just wants me to make homes for them. But today we're making Hughes. Don't worry about Dottie in the next video of course so in case you missed it because i've been talking over it hugh wanted a place to sleep and eat with futons and i thought bet i can absolutely i can absolutely make you a place to sleep and eat and have a futon now i did see nintendox's stream of making hugh a vacation home and i really loved his vibe which was a very messy apart like messy first apartment vibe so i draw i drew some inspiration from that but i wanted it to be i don't know it's different you'll see it's gonna be very blue he's very blue and it's just gonna be it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little chill too it's it's still messy but like that wasn't my main focus here. My main focus was, I want to, I want this to be, a, I don't know, I just want it to be a cool place. I feel like this is like sleepover central here. So you'll see, this main floor is pretty much like his entire home, and then upstairs we do something really cool. It's basically like this is the sleepover house. So like the you come in and it's like okay. The main part of the house is just normal, but then you have that one room where you have all your friends come and sleep over. It's either like the basement or it's usually the basement. In this case, it's upstairs and that's like the really cool room. But before we get there, we work on the rest of his house, which is equally as cool. You know, we're gonna do a pretty basic layout here. We're doing a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a, a nice little dining space. You know, it's nothing too kooky. It's nothing too kooky, but there's there's nothing wrong with the classics. I really love that I unlocked the sloppy set here. The sloppy set is just top tier. I love it. We didn't get the sloppy bed, but that's okay. I actually really like the patchwork set and especially the patchwork blue. I think it's very cozy and he was a little baby, you know? He's a little baby and that's okay. I'm giving him a fun little desk. I don't know what he's doing. You know, maybe he is... Maybe he's watching some streams. Maybe he is playing some Animal Crossing himself. Maybe he is just watching YouTube videos all day. Maybe he's writing a blog. He's doing something and he's having a good time. I also love the lava lamps. I think they're super fun. We also had to, of course, give him a blue piggy bank because he is the cute little blue pig of our dreams. I love the trash bags. My previous island, my main island of course, was a city core island and there was trash everywhere and I just loved it. I also thought it might be fun to make Hugh like a budding musician. Like a budding musician. So we threw a little blue guitar moment back there 
and I decided to put the little sleeping cap, the, the nightgown cap in there because he said he wanted a place to sleep and eat. Also, I gave him that same nightcap on my actual island and he wore it all the time. So it was a little bit of a, a nostalgic little moment, of course, of course. Working on his kitchen, pretty basic. I liked to keep a lot of the kitchen furniture white, kind of popping out against the blue, but having the blue fridge was super fun, as well as the blue diner sofa as kind of a booth against the window moment. He feels very much so to me like, this man wants to sit in the booth always, so why not have one in his home? And that's just how it goes. I'm playing around with pillars here. You know, pillars are tough. Sometimes you want to do something innovative, but also sometimes it's just too much. So I was doing a little too much for a while, making the pillars go out a little far in my attempt to make like a counter. But I think it I think it works out. I end up making a little counter, but then it's like it's a little calmed down. It's not too, too far out. We're also doing delicious food on the table. So we got fries, we've got soda, we've got like a sandwich. It's messy. It's cute. We love it. Um, and then I struggled with this front section here. I did not know what I was going to do. You saw I placed a pool table briefly and I was like, okay, we could do that. But it just didn't really fit. It didn't really fit the vibe. But I didn't want to do something boring. And I also didn't have enough room to make a bathroom. So instead, I decided to give him a little photo wall of his best buds, which were my two original starter villagers, Sherry and Antonio, and Walker. So you guys know we're, we're capturing the nostalgia. I thought it might be kind of fun for Hugh to have a picture wall. Maybe he reflects on his time on Potato Park. I wish, that's my island name, um, I wish I could have given him a picture of me, but I couldn't. So we kind of, I mean, I don't think it's boring. It's a little basic though, that corner with the photos. I just think it's cute and it makes me happy. And like I said, this is more it's more for me than it is for you guys. I'm sorry. We're just catering to my my little nostalgic sentimental heart. I don't know why he has a water cooler, but it just makes sense in my mind. I also love this blue plaid flannel. What is this pattern? What is it? These like diamonds? I don't know what they are. I don't know what what is that? It's not flat. It's not plaid. I don't know what it is, but I love it, and I feel like it definitely fits Hugh's vibe, as well as the other decor I'm throwing up, like the throwback clock is just super cute, and the star garland. Also, in reference to Walker, who wanted his bikes, Hugh's gotta have his bike as well, because they were best buds, and they share a similar lifestyle. Like, that's just how it is. Um, and then I just kind of kept it over over by the TV a little more simple. I struggled a l I, I think I struggle with the walls in general. Sometimes I'm like, okay, there's not enough. But then sometimes I really do just like throw everything just up there. Just throw it all up there. So we're trying to, you know, make it decorative, but not make it cuckoo. And I think I think I did a decent job at it. I think we did all right here. We did some nice fun sounds and we played around with the lighting. And here, Oh, not yet, not yet, sorry. Psych, psych out. I thought this was gonna be the little view of the room. Now it's the view of the room. This is what it looks like. I love it. I love it. I love this. I think this is so cute. It is blue. It's cool. It's a little messy, but I would 100% live there. In fact, I'm surprised that I don't. I feel like this, this is similar to what my own apartment was like when I lived by myself. And I just love it, and I think it's very cute, and it makes me happy. And while this this part was super cool, now it gets even more fun because I had I had this idea all along. I always say I want to do like a small business for each villager. Sometimes that doesn't happen, you know. Sometimes it doesn't. In especially for these like nostalgic villagers, like Walker didn't really have a small business. It was like it could be a business, but it was more for him. This is kind of the same thing with Hugh. It's an indoor movie theater. Well, I guess most movie theaters are indoors, so I don't really need to say indoor movie theater. But it's a movie theater. But it, I don't see this as like, this is my small business. I run this movie theater. Come and pay to watch movies. 
Instead, this is where Hugh has sleepover parties with all of his friends. This is where the futons are. You can lay down. He has a whole concession stand in his basement. I don't know what his parents do for a living, but it's something nice because he's got all the goods. This is always the cool house. And can you see why? Like, hello? It's so cool. He's got tons of snacks. He's got tons of fun drinks. Cozy, cozy futons for you to sleep on and a lovely, lovely projector screen. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe here. We're not trying to make AMC or anything in here. I actually have done that in the past though. On my previous island, I did make an AMC, which was super fun. But yeah, this is like, we're having a fun sleepover. That's the vibe. Hughes sleepover party is what we're doing here. Um, I also threw in a vending machine and a drink machine because we got all the cool snacks, all right? We got all the good snacks. That's the whole point. He wanted a place to sleep and to eat and to have a futon, and that is what we're doing. I've made it more complicated by interpreting that as, cool, I'm gonna make a movie theater, but I think it works. I'm also using lots of these neon signs. I think they're so fun, except they look absolutely insane in time-lapse mode because they're going so fast, but that's okay. You know what? It's all right. Um, in retrospect, not as much furniture in here as I usually do. I feel like I tend to overload the builds sometimes with furniture to the point where I hit max furniture. I feel like for me, this is a little bit more toned down, but because there's so much going on, I feel like there doesn't need to be a million more items. Like we probably could have put more of those, mis like those chairs, those recliners, but I didn't. We just put more snacks. When in doubt, we put more snacks. Um, and then that's it. And this is the room. I love this. I love this. I, I think this is so fun. I think this is so fun. And this is very similar, a very similar vibe to what I tried to do for Walker, which is where I gave him his bedroom as an arcade. To me, these boys were on the island with me for a very similar amount of time. And I was very attached to, still am, very attached to both of them. And in my head, they're best buds. So they go over to each other's homes. Hugh goes over to that arcade all the time. Walker comes over to this movie theater and it is just a cute, fun time. I don't know if this is the most entertaining for everybody else, but this is what's true to me. And I'm really, I'm just really glad. I'm really glad to be putting some of my favorite villagers on this island for me to always have. I feel like, you know, it's like they never moved away. I never lost them. And this is so dumb because I know people like a lot of times don't care and they just like throw out their villagers and don't care. But I get super attached. I've like literally cried when villagers <laughs> left. I am a baby and it's okay. Now for the exterior, I wanted to keep the very chill theme put in those futons, of course. And I wanted to have just a nice beachside, beachside snacking spot that's pretty much what it is it's not like a store again he was not really operating a small business it's just like the coolest sleepover place you've ever been like imagine you're having a sleepover with Hugh. you spend all day hanging out on the little private beach private beach and then you go inside his kitchen and stuff might not be fantastic but you go upstairs and then you have the movie theater like don't you want to spend your time here Tell me that he was not, like, the coolest kid in school. And not coolest in the mean way. Coolest kid is just, like, he is so fun, so nice, everybody loves him. And that being said, Hugh is an underrated villager who does not get enough credit, and I never hear people talk about him, but he is one of the lights of my life. And I love him. I threw this scrapbook here. I like to pretend that maybe he is a scrapbook of his time at Potato Park, and he reflects on it. And that just makes me feel better about it. I also changed his outfit to be a very relaxing blue Hawaiian shirt. I feel like it just fit the vibe. And there you have it, guys. I I love this one. I love all three spaces, upstairs, downstairs, and the exterior. But I decided to do the montage for the main downstairs. Here it is.
And there you guys have it. The joy I feel is just <laughs> through the roof, guys. Through the roof. I am just like every villager I've ever met. <laughs> Come on down. I'm building you a home. No, I'm kidding. But for my very my very first villagers and my very favorite villagers, I would love to make them all a home. I make a few more, you'll see. <laughs> And I've just been running into them. I've been so lucky to just run into so many of these villagers. Um, and you'll see in the next video, that's what that's what happens again. So hopefully these nostalgic ones are interesting to watch. I think so. I would love to know what villagers everybody is super attached to. Anyway, back to the main storyline of Happy Home Paradise here. In case you forgot, that's actually going on. Sometimes I forget because um, I'm having too much fun. But Lottie's basically telling me we're getting ready for our special event and there's some scaffolding going up. And that pretty much means I'm almost at the quote-unquote end of Happy Home Paradise. That doesn't bother me because I don't plan on stopping making Happy Home Paradise builds and videos. So the end of the game just means I made 30 homes and boom, that's it. And anyway, that's where we're going to end today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know who is one of your nostalgic villagers that you would love to make a home for that you think does not get enough credit. Q is mine. Q is mine. Kit is another one, as you know. Walker, Sherry, Antonio, the whole gang. And the next video, you know, Dottie too. Throw her in there. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in me as a human being, Happy Home Paradise, Animal Crossing New Horizons, I feel like subscribing to this channel might be a great option for you because I do make videos every other day and stream weekly. So there's tons of fun content to watch. And I feel like I would love to have you around and, you know, be a part of this family. But thank you guys so, so much again for bearing with me and watching these nostalgic videos. I'll see you in the next one.